Hey guys, what's up? Thuki and one here. Gonna be talking a little bit about the Hexic mod pack. Just a couple. Why didn't they add this and etc. But basically, I guess I'll start off with why did they not add divine mods like D Divine RPG, Thomcraft. Um, got a little list here. Uh, mutant creatures, Harvest Craft, etc. Just mods like that. They seem like they really go well with an RPG aspect, as well as the mod custom NPCs. Uh, that one's not as big, but it is a very cool mod because uh, obviously you can create custom NPCs to kind of fill out your role role playing s story type thing. I don't know, but I'm just kind of wondering why those were not added in. I guess I think they'd be very beneficial to the pack, and if you do as well, then be sure to I don't know maybe go on the Tekken C, post the link to this video, and tell them to watch it. I don't know, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I can't really do that because I'm pretty sure I've been banned, but that's another story. Anyways, as I was saying, it does have a good bunch of cool mods that I had actually not seen or just not thought about before, I guess, like, uh, Legend Gear, Hexagear. Gear, I'm pretty sure they did themselves, which is, eh, it looks pretty basic if you ask me. Um, Bibliocraft, yes, of course. Twilight Forest, of course, and um, one of the things I'm actually um, thinking that the reasons they didn't add these mods is because they were unable to get permissions for them, and the reason being, um, a lot of modders right now don't seem to be too happy with Technic. A lot of modders like work more with Feed the Beast lately, it seems, than they are with the Technic guys, um, because in the past Technic had a bad history for not asking for. Uh, mods permissions and in I've heard even in some cases not removing it even when they requested for their mod not to be in it. Now they've gotten much better about this and they have been um, following permissions recently and everything but I actually had the chance with to speak with the owner of Feed the Beast and he said that's kind of how they used to run. I mean now they seem to have cleaned up it a little bit but I don't know they just <laughs> It's just a bunch of this stuff. They have a kind of a sketchy pass, I guess. But, with that being said, Hexit does look like it's going to be a pretty good mod pack. The server we have is coming along. One problem we ran into is I don't think the server files are correct that the Hexit that they provided on the Hexit part of the Technic platform. Um, it refused to launch um, at first. I do not think I set it up wrong or Ethan set it up wrong, but in that case, we are working on it, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we might even redo them completely ourselves if we have to to get it working. But, just saying that, because I'm not really sure if that's a problem with everyone, if if you guys could just let me know in the comments, that'd be nice, and as always, this pack kind of freezes up a little bit. I was considering doing a Let's Play on this pack, but I kind of checked YouTube, and I noticed that quite a few people had already done that, and we've already started our Magic Let's Play on our Magical Mod Pack, and... I believe I'll be sticking to that actually. Um, if you guys would like to see a Let's Play on this, let me know. And if you guys would rather me stick with the Magic Pack, uh, let me know. I mean, I'm not exactly, I'm not, still not 100% sure, especially now that our the server files were not working for Hexit, because one main problem with anything Technic makes, and the Technic team t seems to make, is there's always tons of problems in the server, um, not server files that they give out, but just the mods they pick for servers like dimensional doors, those are so buggy on servers. Number one, you can break spawn with them. Number two, they generate tons and tons of dimensions which causes extreme lag. Um, I could go on on that one. That one just it kills you sometimes. It's just so, it's really bad. It can crash the server. It leads you into weird dimensions to where you can't be teleported to, which could be cause problems as far as moderation of duping and stuff goes. Um, there's just a lot of problems with a mod like that, as well as the old Take it Classic had about 13, I think, no, it wasn't 13, it may have been like 10 dupe glitches that were so bad. Obviously, not the Take it Technic's um, job to sort that out, but it kind of would be nice if they would have tried to contact the modders and stuff and see if they could have gotten those fixed. But, that's pretty much all I have to say this time. I don't want to bash the Tekken team too much. They do um, work pretty hard on their site and everything, and they just kind of operate a little bit differently than I guess I would prefer them operate but who am I to say what tell them what to do anyways thanks for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and as next time